Hello, Survivors, and welcome to Survivor's Guild, part of the Mutant Fam Horror Consortium, a community of like-minded individuals working together to create content and build relationships by and for fans of the genre. Hop on over to MutantFam.com for all the podcasts, channels, and content creators featured in the Mutant Fam. And before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Today, we are looking at 2017's The Ritual, currently streaming on Netflix. If you haven't seen this movie, you should go watch it right now. Because much like a hiking trip with your best buds in the Scandinavian wilderness where all your friends end up dead, this movie is getting spoiled. The Ritual, directed by David Bruckner and written by Adam Neville and Joe Barton, and starring Rafe Spall, Rob James Collier, Archer Ali, Sam Troughton, and Paul Reed. The Ritual is about a group of friends hiking in the Scandinavian wilderness in memoriam of a friend that died recently who end up being hunted down by the bastard son of a Norse god. We open up to five friends, Luke, Phil, Dom, Hutch, and Robert, enjoying a night out and discussing where they are going to take their trip. Luke wants to go to a convenience store and convinces Rob to go with him. Unfortunately for Rob, this convenience store is getting robbed, and the thieves turn their attention to Rob to rob him while Luke is able to hide. How many robs would the robbers rob if the robbers could rob Rob? Oh, that was obnoxious. But the answer is zero, because Rob refuses to give them his ring, and they kill him for it, making our first meat bag deposit one body at a time. Flash forward to the group in Sweden where the friends build a little monument to their dead friend and drink to his memory. Then they start hiking back towards the lodge when Dom missteps and hurts his leg. So... Ow! Oh, oh, it's twisted. It's twisted. Oh. All right, yep. Oh. Easy, easy. So the friends decide to cut through the forest to cut the trip in half. Look, we go southwest through here. We cut the journey in half. What, through the forest? Yeah, why not? Early into the forest, the group finds a deer hanging on the branches with its guts spilled all over the ground. It's been gutted. It starts getting dark and pouring rain, so the group ends up taking shelter in a spooky but abandoned house they find. They discover a super strange idol out of wood in the upstairs room that looks to be a headless torso with antlers for arms. And although this thoroughly creeps them out, they stay the night anyway. That night, Luke has a dream about the night Rob died, where the aisles from the convenience store start manifesting in the forest, only to wake up a little ways away from the house with gashes all over his chest. Hutch wakes up screaming and in his sleep has peed his pants. Dom wakes up from a nightmare as well, but this one involved his wife Gail. And they can't find Phil until they check the upstairs idol room where Phil is completely nude and worshipping at the feet of the wooden totem. They all grab their stuff and leave ASAP, only to find strange markings on the trees that they didn't notice the night before. They start hiking to get out of the forest as fast as possible, but Phil is disturbed about what happened and wants to talk about it. So are we going to talk about it then or not? It was a nightmare, Phil. Well, what happened to you then? We got spooked and we had bad dreams. All right. An argument ensues and it gets dark again, so they set up camp. That night, something lurks around their tent. And eventually takes off with Hutch. And they find Hutch hanging from a tree, disemboweled, the same way the deer was. They continue walking until, yet again, it gets late, and as they get closer and closer to their destination, it gets darker and darker, until the mystery beast attacks the trio again and takes off with Phil. The large monster chases Luke and Dom through the dense forest until the duo finds a cabin, and they enter it, only to get knocked out. They wake up sometime later tied up, and an old lady comes in to give Luke water because he has the marks on his chest, but instead of giving Dom water, they prepare him for a sacrifice. That night, Dom is put up on a post, and he sees his wife. Gale come walking out of the forest while Luke dislocates his thumb to get out of the ropes that bind him. Unfortunately for Dom, he realizes that he's not actually looking at Gale, but rather some sort of deer looking giant with arms coming out of its cheeks. Like the Pokemon Xerneas, but with, you know, arms coming out of its cheeks. The beast picks Dom up and carries him over to a nice tree and carefully hangs him in it by impaling his body on its branches. A lady lets Luke know that the beast is the bastard son of Loki and that they worship slash 
fear it and offer up sacrifices to it in exchange for living past a natural life. Luke breaks out of his dungeon and wreaks havoc on the cultists, killing ten elders upstairs by lighting them on fire. And as the cabin starts burning down, the cultists start freaking out and the beast returns to figure out what's going on. The beast starts killing off the cultists, probably because they screwed up, and Luke finds a gun and blows the dude away. It appears as though out of ten cult members, zero survive, so I'm just gonna have to throw ten more onto the pile. Luke takes off, but then takes aim at the bastard son of Loki. But the shot doesn't phase it and now it knows where Luke is. It catches up to him and knocks him down. It then picks Luke up and sets him down and uses its face hands to force Luke to bow to it. When he stands back up, it forces him down again. And when Luke is down for the second time, he sees his axe and picks it up. He stands back up and hits the monster in the forehead with the axe. But needless to say, the beast was stunned. Whip crack went its whoopy tail, but the beast wasn't done. Luke runs his way out of the forest and looks back at the monster who's apparently not able to pass the tree line. And after yelling desperately at the monster, Luke continues walking and the movie ends. So now, to find out, what are your chances of suffering Survivor's Guilt? This is where we take a look at the main characters and the death that surrounds them to determine what your chances are of surviving this movie. Starting off with Rob at the convenience store, and then Hutch and Phil in the forest, followed by Dom, we have four. Plus the ten cultists, as well as the ten elders. We have a total of 24 dead. Some of them hung from trees like Christmas ornaments for all to admire. Now let's look at our survivor, Luke. That's it. Well, shoot, I guess actually we should probably add the two robbers as well. Dang it. Well, that means out of 27 characters, only three survive, giving you a 12.5% chance of surviving this movie. Given those odds, how would the bastard son of Loki put an end to your life? Let me know in the comments below. I'd prefer not to be hung from a tree because I'm terrified of heights. But if you guys haven't seen this movie, you really need to check it out. It's seriously one of my favorite movies in the last five years. And it's streaming on Netflix, so you have absolutely no excuse. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and look out for the next full-length Survivor's Guild. And as always guys, thanks. <sighs> this one's gonna be a hard one. No pun intended. was all but inevitable really.